Hello everyone, it's Kristen here at Joyfully Thriving and welcome back to my grocery hauls of this week. After so much shopping the last couple weeks, this week I was really trying to just shop as lightly as I could. So um, I actually did two Walmart trips at different times and I have a, actually my first Kroger trip of the week that I did for a couple deals. Couldn't find everything I wanted, but did get a couple sales there. So I'm gonna show you what I have for this week. I think I am almost done shopping for the month. I've probably gone over, I know I've gone over budget, um, but I'm just gonna kind of play that by ear and we'll see what happens. So um, if you haven't already, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to this channel because not only do I post a grocery haul every week on Thursdays, but once a month I share a wrap up grocery haul of every single shopping trip I've done in the month, just kind of the highlights and a quick overview so you can see how all these trips work together because by themselves, I do realize they look eclectic. So, all right, let me flip you around and show you what I got at Walmart today. Then I'll show you my trips from earlier this week and then I'll come back to wrap it up with you. Here is what I bought at Walmart today. I went in to get just a couple things. We're having friends over and I needed some certain things, um, certain brands because of allergies and things that I knew they could eat. So that was where I went for Cape Cod chips, $4.98 for that big party size bag. Needed quinoa, $3.36. Bought some raisins, a larger container, and the smaller ones. It was hard to believe these were up to $2 for the six little boxes. Um, so I just bought one of those, but then I bought a larger one there to refill. Chickpeas for $0.78. Cents. Some snack bags. I normally use sandwich, but these are square, the, um, the ones at Walmart here. And actually, I really like that size just when I'm doing Chex Mix we made with the kids the other day. And this just fits perfectly. So I grabbed a box of those. It was $2.24 for that box. Grabbed a couple conditioners. They used to be you could get the large size for 30 ounces. And now it is, if you can see that, 22.5. It's what some people would call shrinkflation. Are you seeing that in different things? I'm definitely noticing that as well. And that is one of the first things I've noticed it in very clearly. The shampoo and conditioner stays there. And then a smaller one of those, the um, like it's that's the head and shoulders there. So those swabs were $1.94. And I think it was like $2.98 for the other equate. Some cheap bread, $1.32, just to make Encrustables. It has 12 servings, so out of this $1.32 loaf, I can get 12 Encrustables for the week for kids who want those. So it just makes it really easy. I have a Pampered Chef circle cutter, and I just use that, and the kids love that. So for those things, oh, and then this was free. This was actually free from Dick's Sporting Goods. I put it here just so I'd remember. I wear a Fitbit. Um, that I get with rewards from insurance, but I've linked it with my Dick's Rewards, and I've told you about this before, but if you're new here, it's a great thing because about three or four times a year, I get a $10 reward, and these meals are still $9.99, and the reward takes it all off, no tax or anything, and these are freeze-dried meals that last for 30 years, so this is kind of what I do for long-term food storage. When I have a reward, or my husband has one from wearing our Fitbits, it's an easy way to get some free long-term food storage, so you might want to check that out if you're interested into it. You can use your Dick Rewards for anything else, too. Um, if you have a sport Dick's Sporting Goods by you, might worth checking might be worth checking that out. So that was free, but then for those couple things at Walmart, I spent $26.54. And then let me show you what I got the, at the rest of the stores this week. All right, I guess this was my first shopping trip of the week. It's Saturday, but I was in the middle of making potato salad and realized I was totally out of mayo. As you can see, I made the potato salad first and finished that up. My great grandma's recipe, love it. If I'm going to make potato salad in the summer, that's my go-to recipe. I'll leave the link in the description. And then grabbed a block of cheddar cheese, which it isn't a bad price. It was cheaper to buy a pound block. It was $3 or $3.68 which isn't a bad price for that, I really feel like. Um, and then cheddar cheese soup. I have a mac and cheese recipe that makes really good mac and cheese. So grab two of those that I was gonna make one, use one of those and then one for later. And then I was making apple snicker salad I normally do it with Granny Smith, but I have a couple Pink Lady I'm going to use this time. I just grabbed two, and it was almost a dollar a piece for each of those apples, which was kind of ridiculous. So for these six things at Walmart, I spent $12.34. 
All right, this was my Kroger trip for the week. This was actually my first and I think only Kroger trip of the month, which is kind of hard to believe. I went in looking for brisket. It was supposed to be $2.49 a pound, which was a great price, but I was unable to find any anywhere on our shelves. So I grabbed a couple other deals while I was there and one not so good deal, but let me start with the deals first. So the sparkling water was four for 12, which works out to $3 for a 12 pack or $6 for 24, which is the cheapest price I've seen in a long time. So even though I had some sparkling water at home and I went ahead and bought those packages there, three orange and one lime. Grabbed some hamburger buns for $1.79 for a cookout. Needed some more wipes. It was actually cheaper this time to buy them individually at $1.89 a package versus the three pack was $5.99, which was interesting. Always pay attention and just remember, just because it's bigger doesn't always mean you're getting the bigger deal on those things. So pay attention. And then Coke, Summer and Travels, went ahead and grabbed those as a treat, $2.99 for the bottles. Those are nice when we're traveling to have those for my husband. And then this was the not deal. My kids have been desperately wanting to make Chex Mix for the last several weeks. And I had corn Chex Mix, I had rice Chex, but I did not have wheat. Walmart does not carry wheat anymore. Aldi does not carry it. So when I was at Kroger, it was $4.99 for this box. And I can't believe it. Like I put it back multiple times. My kids were so disappointed, Emma especially. I told them, I will buy it this time, but never again am I going to pay that much for a box of cereal. That's just kind of ridiculous. So I bought it this time. You better believe I'm going to be watching for a sale on checks and stocking up for that for sure. So for these couple trips here, for these couple things at Kroger, not a lot, but it was $35.06 on this trip. Okay, so they were small trips, like I said, but for those three small trips at Walmart and then Walmart and then my first Kroger trip, it was $73.94 that I spent this week on groceries. Didn't seem like I got a whole lot, but we had uh, my brother and sister-in-law were in town, so we're eating at my in-laws a couple nights. We've had leftovers, we're entertaining for friends, just using up what we have in the fridge and the freezer um, and supplementing where I can. Have I gone over budget? Yes, I have. <laughs> like I knew would happen this month. Like I said, I think I might be done shopping for the month, but I'm not quite sure. So be sure to check out next week. I will have to have a weekly haul for you or I will have my June wrap up and you can see how everything evened out for the rest of the month. So I asked last week if some of you raised your budget in the summers and it was kind of a mixed response. Some of you said yes, some of you said no, you try to keep the same. I really don't think there's a right or wrong way to do it. And that's what I hope you see with these videos here too. These are just, this is how I save money and how I budget and I shop. And I hope it gives you good ideas. But if you do things a different way, that's okay too. The important thing is that you're just working hard and doing all you can to save your family money in the ways that you can using the stores that are near you, shopping the sales and prices that you have around you. So as always, thank you so much for joining me here at Joyfully Thriving and I will see you in the next video.